get started. Okay. Welcome to the slow flow. Um, for this practice, I'm planning little pockets of vinyasa. And I think that will be a nice fun way to connect the breath and the movement and to give little check-ins, but also there'll be pauses where you can be in a pose a little longer and explore. So it's going to be a combination of movement and stillness and finding your way in that. So let's come to the practice together by starting off in a seated position. Try to have the sit bones equally onto the mat the best as can be. You can use any props underneath the knees to help support the knees or the hips. And then I always like to start um, with my fingertips touching the floor or the ground. I feel like it's grounding and I also can push myself back, but it's your preference. And then once I find um, the posture that works well for me, my hands will come to rest comfortably in my lap, palms up or palms down. But if you're finding the grounding is beneficial, I want you to stick with it. So take a nice transitional breath and decide to have a soft gaze or close your eyes. And then together we'll take a nice full inhale into the nose. Maybe exhale out through the nose. Inhale into your nose. And this time decide to exhale out through the nose or maybe sigh it out through the mouth. Last breath together, yogi's choice. Inhale in. Big exhale. And no matter what gaze you chose, I want you to bring the focus towards the tip of your nose. And begin to notice how the breath moves in through the nose. The gentle pause. And then as you transition on the exhale. And slowly start creating a steady breath, maybe a four count in, a four count pause, a four count exhale, and then maybe a four count pause before you take that next full inhale in. Two more breaths. And then after the second exhale, take the inhale and just allow the chin to drop to the chest. And there's no rush. I might be giving instructions a little quickly, but that's okay because we'll be at all slight different paces. With the chin to the chest, take a few deep cycles of breath here and notice the extension in the back of the neck you're creating. Be in this posture as you draw the scapulas down and away from the ears. And if you haven't already, maybe rest the palms up on your lap. Just giving up in a little just giving a little more gentle openness in the upper chest, being able to draw the scapulas down and away from the ears a little bit more, creating more length in the back of the neck. 
still with the chin close to the chest or as close as is comfortable for you. As you inhale, really root the sit bones down and create the length up the spine, maybe encouraging the chin to tip a little bit closer to the chest. And then slowly and steady, exhale, keep the length, chin is still at the chest. Take two more breaths here and see if you can feel the length each breath. Last breath. And then on your next inhale, use the nose to slowly draw a line up towards the ceiling, opening up the front of the throat. And having the palms up will help keep the shoulders opening here so there's not a, a slugging of the ears to the shoulders. Now this is a bit of a vulnerable position because the throat is opening, open, exposing the carotid artery and the jugular vein, but you're safe. And I want you to once again, explore with drawing the shoulders down and away from the ears here, and then really create that length once again, but now in the front body. So maybe take about three cycles of breath here. Let it be mindful. And if you start to feel a little anxious, come out of it. Two more breaths. Last breath here. Stay with it if you can. And then you'll slowly and carefully bring the head back up nice and tall. Great. Take a nice full inhale. And as you exhale, use your nose, look over the left shoulder. And if you're feeling the right shoulder pull forward, I want you to come straight ahead again. Open up the shoulders by taking the palms up and then carefully look over the left shoulder. Those of us that are there, maybe take the gaze to look out over the left shoulder. And take three deep cycles of breath. And then after the third exhale, come back into center and take a breath here to reassess. Nice full inhale in, base of the spine coming up nice and tall. Mm, exhale. And then you take your full inhale here and let it guide you over the right shoulder. And I want you to take the same adjustment if you need to. If you need to look back to center, flip the left palm up to create the opening in the upper chest. Be welcome to that and explore that but eventually we'll all find ourselves gazing over towards the right. And then maybe even taking our eyes over towards the far right. Keep the length in the spine and drop into your deep cycles of breath. Two more. Last breath. And then use the next exhale to come back into center. Great. Reach the arms up high towards the sky. Let the fingers spread nice and wide. And it's your choice if you want your palms to touch or not. I want my back and hands to touch. And then slowly exhale, let the fingertips touch. All right, three more times here. Inhale, arms come up high. And lower as you exhale, reach up on the inhale, lower on the exhale. 
All right, this time leave the left hand down and reach the right arm up high. Okay, I want you to imagine that you're slide, well, don't imagine actually slide the right scapula or the shoulder blade down and lift the right wrist away from the right shoulder. And then imagine that you're reaching now this right wrist away from the right hip and notice how you're creating gentle length here. All right. Fingers can be spread nice and wide, or you can bring the fingers together. It's a preference. As long as you're creating this beautiful length, left hand is towards the left hip, and then use your left fingertips to walk the left hand away from the left hip. And then when you're on the edge of the right hip lifting up, I want you to stop, let the right hip root down and then slowly tip towards the left. So you get this nice lateral stretch and hopefully you've created as much length as you can on the right side of the body. This time reaching right fingertips away from right hip. And then you can play around with spiraling the sternum up towards the sky. Two more breaths. Last breath. And then rooting your sit bones down, use your core strength as you inhale to bring yourself up. Reach the left arm to meet the right. And then flutter both hands down to the ground. One breath here, nice full inhale. Exhale. Reach the arms up on the inhale. Leave the left hand as you guide the right hand down. Okay, first up, slide the left scapula down. Reach the left wrist away from the left scapula. Reach the fingertips a little bit higher and then reach the left wrist away from the left hip. Fingertips can be wider together. And then you'll use your right fingers to slowly start walking yourself over towards the right. And then feel that subtle moment when the left hip starts lifting off. That's where you pause, reset, and then start folding. So you don't want to rush this because you're catching that, that instant. All right, it is your choice now whether the sternum needs to spiral up towards the sky or if you wanna stay in this lateral side bend, your choice. It's kind of what do you need in your spine today? Two more breaths. And you're still rooting that left, finger, or left hip down. So then when your next inhale happens, you can engage the core and lift the left arm up. Reach both hands up now high towards the sky on the inhale. And then once again here, you're sliding both scapulas down, reaching both wrists away from the shoulders, and then reaching the fingertips up a little bit higher without letting the shoulders creep up. And then reach the wrist away from both sets of the hips. Take a nice full inhale here and exhale. And then if you want, you can look up at the fingertips on the inhale. And eventually you'll fold forward as you exhale, allowing the gaze to come down towards the ground and the fingertips to rest comfortably in the mat. Your sit bones are drawing down to the earth. And then you're slowly walking both fingertips a little bit more forward until you feel that sweet spot just before the hips start wanting to lift off. And if you notice one side wants to lift off sooner than the other, that's your stopping point. Two more breaths. Last breath. 
And then you'll use your inhale to carefully walk yourself back to a seated pose. And let's stay here for a breath. And then we'll meet in tabletop. So mindfully make your way onto hands and knees. Pat the tops of the feet to wake them up. Maybe just find some subtle movements swaying from side to side. And then drop the belly, look on up. Tuck the toes under and squeeze the scapulas together here, really opening up the heart in a cow pose. And you'll stay for one full cycle of breath here. And then on the exhale, return the tops of the feet to the mat. Allow the scapulas to spread away as you invite the chin to the chest and the belly button into the spine for your cow pose. One big breath here, feeling the scapulas pull away from your strong spine. And then I want you to flow on the inhale, come into your cow. And cat on the exhale. Now the rate is really your choice, but see if you can return and match to that four count breath. So it's slow and steady. So. Finding the cow for four counts. And then the cat for four counts. Maybe three more times. Being gentle to feel all the sweet parts of the spine. Two more full cycles of breath here. Last cycle. And then meet in your tabletop pose. And then slowly make your way into your child's pose, walking the hands forward. Forehead can be on the mat. And I want you to play around here once again. Scapula slide down and away from the ears. Wrist reach away from the scapulas. And then once you have that sweet spot, feel the wrist reach away from the hips. See if you can engage the entire torso. One more breath. And then use your hands to walk yourself up nice and tall, bum on the heels. Okay, reach the arms up high, bring the hands together in prayer, and then your prayer to heart center. Thumbs touch the sternum, give yourself a soft bow, and drop into three deep cycles of breath. Two, one more breath. And then reach the arms up tall on the inhale. Fold into your child's pose as you exhale. Stay in your child's pose for another cycle of breath. And then as you inhale, come forward into your tabletop pose and then slowly lower yourself down onto your mat into um, prone. Hands are underneath the shoulders, elbows are in close towards the lower rib cage. As you inhale, lift the chin and the chest. 
and find the low cobra here for three deep cycles of breath. See if you can keep it easy in the glutes. Really pressing the sh um, shoulders back. One more big breath. And then as you exhale, release down. Inhale, push yourself up into tabletop pose. And then slowly walk yourself back, heel on the um, bum on the heels. All right, let's let's vinyasa. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands into prayer. Inhale, arms come up high. Child's pose as you exhale. On your inhale, you'll shift into your table. Exhale, lower. Your cobra now on the inhale, whether it's low or high. And then release as you exhale back into your hero pose. Inhale, arms come up high. Hands to heart center as you exhale. Slow, steady movements here. No need to rush. Inhale, arms come up high. Child's pose on the exhale. Shift forward into table on the inhale. Lower, slowly and steadily on the exhale. Cobra on the inhale. Release down as you exhale back into your hero pose. Inhale, arms come up high. Heart center on the exhale. Inhale, arms come up high. Child's pose as you exhale. Table on the inhale. Cobra on the exhale. I'm sorry, lower on the exhale. Cobra on the inhale. And then as you exhale, I want you to slowly release down and push back up into your downward dog. Come here for three deep cycles of breath. Two more. Last breath. And then use your feet to carefully walk yourself to the back of your hands into a forward fold. All right, hands on the shins, come up halfway, slide the scapulas back, crown the head reaches forward, tailbone reaches back. Two more breaths, bring the belly button into the core, press all toes down onto the mat, engaging the legs. One more breath in your halfway lift. And then release, forward fold. <laughs> On your next inhale, reach the arms up high. And then bring them down to the side in your mountain pose. One more breath in your mountain. Feel the strength and connection you're creating. Reach the arms up on the inhale. Fold forward as you exhale. Nice halfway lift here. 
plant the hands and step back into your version of a plank pose. Now you'll be here for three cycles of breath. So take any variation you need, but reach the crown of the head forward, slide the scapulas back, engage the core. One more big breath here. And then slowly lower yourself down. Find your cobra. And then release back into your downward dog. Three cycles of breath. Two more. Last breath here. And then as you inhale, walk the feet towards the back of your hands, finding the fold as you exhale. Halfway lift. Fold forward, reach your arms up high towards the sky. Fold forward here. Halfway lift on the inhale. This time step the right foot back, high runner's lunge. Spin the right heel down and come up onto fingertips. Find your core stability here. And then on the inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Finding your warrior one. All right. You have another breath here really to get rooted down. Slide the scapulas down and away from the ears. And then reach the arms back, interlace the fingers and... Slide the fist down the back. Slowly look up. Keep the bend strong in your left knee. Push down through the pinky toe on the right foot. All right. Take a nice full inhale. As you exhale, I want you to lean forward and hover over the left thigh. You can keep the fists together, or if it feels good to release the arms in a lightning warrior, you can. Okay, hovering over the left leg, crown the head is reaching forward. I want you to release the glutes if you're squeezing them. Pull the belly button into the spine to support your core. One more breath, hovering over the left thigh. And then as you inhale, reach the crown of the head high, look up, maybe gently back. Exhale, hinge over the left thigh. Inhale, bring yourself up nice and high. Exhale, hover over the left thigh. Inhale, reach yourself up nice and tall, reach the arms up high now. And then as you exhale, go ahead, frame the left foot, left foot meets right foot in your plank pose, and then slowly and carefully lower, taking it through your flow. And then release back into your downward dog for three deep cycles of breath. two, one, and then reach the right leg high towards the sky. Step the right foot through to the hands. Take the right hand here and walk yourself wide onto your mat. Find a wide-legged forward fold. Okay. Carefully come up halfway and walk the fingertips in front of you a little bit. And I want you to find a gentle bend into the right knee. Left hand is underneath the face as you reach the right arm up high towards the sky. 
Go ahead, take a look at the right fingertips and then watch the right fingertips reach um, parallel to the right ear. So you're reaching forward. And then as you inhale, reach the right arm up and open a little bit more. And as you exhale, reach the right arm forward. Inhale, reach the right arm up and open. Exhale, right arm forward. And then reach the right arm up high and open, best as can be. And then come up on the left fingers, really press into your feet and keep the scapulas drawing down and away from the ears. Nice big breath here. And then as you exhale, go ahead, bring the right hand down, return back into your wide-legged forward fold. Beautiful. Walk the hands then to the top of your mat, framing the right foot. High runner's lunge. Step the left foot to meet the right foot. Forward fold. Your halfway lift. Fold forward. Reach up. Rise up. Arms come up high towards the sky. Fold here. Halfway lift. This time, step the left foot back, high runner's lunge, spin the left heel down, come up onto the fingertips. Once you have your stability in your core, use a slow inhale to rise up and use the exhale to root down. You have two more breaths here, finding the foundation. So if that's taking the right foot a little bit wider or stepping the left foot in, you can. One more breath. And then bring the arms behind the uh, back, interlace the fingers and take the fist down. Cross the opposite thumb so it'll feel weird. Gently look up. And then as you exhale, hinge forward. Hover over the right thigh, really pull the fist down and away from the ears, create the length. Release the arms if you want. One more breath, hover, hover. Use your strong inhale to bring yourself up, look up nice and tall. Exhale, hinge at the waist, hover over the right thigh. Inhale, bring yourself up nice and tall. Exhale, hinge over the right thigh. One more time, inhale, come up nice and tall. Hover over the right thigh as you exhale. And then reach the arms up high as you inhale into your warrior one. And then find the plank pose and lower as you exhale. Cobra on your inhale. And then release back into your downward dog as you exhale for three cycles of breath. Two. One. Then carefully step the left foot forward in between the hands. Take the left hand and walk yourself wide onto your mat, turning the toes out to the corners of the mat. Forward fold. Carefully walk the fingertips in front of you so you can come up halfway. Give a bend into the left knee. Right hand stays planted as you invite the left hand high towards the sky. Looking up at left fingertips. See if you can watch the left fingertips reach over the left ear. As you inhale, reach the left arm up and open. As you exhale, bring the left arm across the left ear. All right, just a few more times. Left arm comes up high, open, and then cross the left ear. 
left arm reaches up high. And then across the left ear. And then reach up, open wide. One big breath here. And then invite the left hand down. Release back into your forward fold. And then walk your hands to frame the left foot. Right foot meets left foot, forward fold. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Reach up, rise up, arms come up high towards the sky. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, right foot steps back, warrior one feet, footing, anchoring, come up onto fingertips and then rise up. If you've already made it there, that's great. And then I want you to slowly guide the left hand straight or left leg straight. Okay. Left hand comes onto left hip. And I want you to return back to sliding the right scapula down, lifting the right wrist away from the right scapula and right wrist away from the right hip. All right, left hand is still on the left hip. Slowly and carefully hinge forward halfway. And then release down. All right, come up halfway on the inhale. Release down as you exhale. Inhale, rise up. All right, let's try this again. Take a nice full inhale in. Hinge forward halfway as you exhale. Give your length on the inhale and then reach down as you exhale. Come up halfway on the inhale. Release down on the exhale. And then rise up all the way on the inhale. Okay, one more time. Nice full inhale here. Hinge forward halfway as you exhale. Create your length on the inhale. Fold as you exhale. Halfway lift on the inhale. Fold completely as you exhale. Rise up on the inhale. Okay, take a nice full inhale here. Hinge forward halfway. And then I want you to guide the right hand to the inside of the left leg or to the outside of the left leg. So you're start, starting to open up in a revolved triangle. Take the left arm out to a T and then you open up to your degree. So if you're realizing that the left arm is creating too much weight on the spine, bring the left hand to the hip and then open up, okay? How about right here? All right, let's stay here for three deep cycles of breath. Two, last one. And then meet with the left hand on the left hip, right hand comes down, bend into the left knee and slowly release into your high runner's lunge. Left foot meets right foot, your plank pose. And then you make choices of how you want to take it through your low. Or maybe you want to meet in a downward dog. Three breaths here. Two. One. Then carefully walk the feet towards the back of the hands into your forward fold. A halfway lift, fold forward. 
and then reach your arms up high towards the sky as you inhale, fold as you exhale, halfway lift. This time the left foot will step back. Spin the left heel down, come up onto fingertips and eventually use the inhale to find a slow, steady warrior one. All right, slowly guide the right leg straight as you place the right hand on the right hip. Reach the left arm up high. So same thing here, slide the left scapula back, left wrist reaches away from left scapula and then eventually the left wrist reaches away from the left hip. Feel the length, nice full inhale. Hinge forward as you exhale. Inhale gives you length. Release down as you exhale. Halfway lift on the inhale. Release down. Rise up on your inhale. And stay for the exhale. All right, here we go. Inhale, hinge forward halfway as you exhale. Nice full inhale. Hinge forward as you exhale. Halfway lift on the inhale. Release down as you exhale. Rise up on the inhale. Halfway on the exhale. Stay for the inhale, release on the exhale, halfway lift, release down, rise up on the inhale. All right, gather your breaths, nice full inhale here, release down halfway as you exhale, yogi's choice. Re Left hand on right leg or the outside. Slowly coming into your revolved triangle. Right arm can come up to a T. And then use the exhale to open up to your degree. Three steady breaths here. Two. One. And then right hand comes onto the right hip, release the arms down, find your high runner's lunge here. Right foot meets left foot, your plank pose. And then carefully take it through your flow and meet in a downward dog. Three breaths. two, one. And I want you to carefully walk your feet towards the back of your hands. Find your halfway lift, your fold. Reach your strong arms up high towards the sky as you inhale. Arms come down to the side as you exhale. Crown the head reaches up high, feet root down. One more breath. Reach your arms up on the inhale. Fold forward as you exhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands, step back into your plank pose and carefully lower down. All right, from here, let me give myself a little space. I want you to reach the arms forward just a little bit. So like the hands are at like in between one and two and 11 and 10. All right, crown the head is reaching down. On your inhale, lift the chin, the chest and the arms and the legs. One more breath, lift a little higher. And then release down. Take a breath.
On your next inhale, lift everything up again, arms, legs, chin, chest. And then I want you to slowly just pulse the right leg up and down. Keep the left leg where it's at. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, lift both legs, maybe come up a little higher and then slowly release down for two cycles of breath. One more breath. And then as you inhale, lift the arms, lift the legs, lift the chin and the chest. Keep the glutes soft. So if you notice that you're squeezing, lower down. All right, this time start tapping the left toes. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, lift both legs, lift legs and arms a little higher, maybe a little higher, and then release everything down, stack palms, release the forehead onto the mat, stay here for three deep cycles of breath. If you want, you can turn the heels in. Two more. Last breath. And then I want you to carefully make your way onto your back. So just roll over. And invite the knees into the chest. Wrap the arms around the shins, give them a nice squeeze. Rock from side to side. Massaging the spine. All right. Eventually, we'll have the arms down to the side, the feet flat, the knees up, like you're prepping for a bridge pose. All right, have the feet flat and the arms down to the side. And as you inhale, lift the hips. Gently press the feet into the mat. Maybe tuck the chin closer to the chest. And then as you exhale, slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. All right, as you inhale, lift the hips. Leave the right arm where it's at, but lift the left arm and bring it up overhead. Let the left arm relax as you slowly lower the hips down. Reach the left wrist away from the left hips. Imagine that you're creating that extra length. And then lift the hips up on the inhale. And as you release the spine down one vertebra at a time, invite the left arm to come down to your side. All right, lift the hips up on the inhale. This time reach the right arm up overhead, let it rest onto the ground. Lower the hips down as you exhale, leave the right arm where it's at and then Create the length from right wrist to right hip. Inhale, lifts the hips up high. And as you exhale, lowering the spine down one vertebra at a time, invite the right arm down to the side. All right, let's repeat that both sides. So lift the hips up on the inhale. Left arm reaches up overhead, let it rest onto the ground. As you exhale, lower the hips, lift the fingertips away from the hips. Inhale, lifts the left hip or left, both sets of hips, left and right, up to the sky. And then as you exhale, bring the left arm down to the side. 
Lift the hips on the inhale. Right arm comes up overhead. Lower the hips as you exhale. Reach the right arm a little bit away from the body. Lift the hips up on the inhale. And then lower the right arm to the right side as you lower the spine down. Hug the knees into the chest. Give them a nice squeeze. Okay, from here, keep the knees into the chest, squeeze the shins together, let the knees come together, bring the arms out to a T. All right, as you take your nice inhale, imagine the length in your spine being created, and then as you exhale, allow the knees to drop over towards the left side. Bring the knees up on the inhale. Let them drop over to the right side as you exhale. The knees will come up on the inhale. Over towards the left as you exhale. And see if you can engage the core strength. Inhale towards center, right as you exhale. Knees come up towards center on the inhale. And then this time when they come over to the left, let them stay. Take the gaze out over the right shoulder and drop into your deep cycle of breath, three cycles here. So come back to that four count breath. Two. Last breath. And come back into center on the inhale. Gaze comes back into center as well. Exhale, take it over towards the right side. Look out over the left shoulder. Dropping into three deep cycles of breath here. Two. Last one. And then bring yourself back into center, hug the knees into the chest. Maybe rock from side to side. And then take the knees as wide as your torso. Push the knees away gently, like maybe an inch. Take the arms out to a T, take a nice full inhale. And as you exhale, let both legs fall over towards the left side. So roughly the left foot in the right knee, right thigh or in that same vicinity. You get this nice um, supine twist, but now we should feel it a little bit in the hip flexors as well. One more breath. And then come back into center. Knees are still wide and let them fall over towards the right side. And you can look out over the left shoulder. Two more breaths. Last one. And then as you inhale, bring yourself back into center. Bring the knees into the chest wide or together. It's your choice, your preference. And then slowly take a hold of the bottoms of the feet into your happy baby pose. And then as you inhale, extend the right leg long and bring the left knee in. Keep the back engaged onto your mat and then slowly switch sides. So bring the right knee in and extend the left leg long. And then slowly take another breath and extend the right leg long and bring the left knee in. And switch. 
Now I'll let you go at the pace that works for you. You might want to go inhale, exhale one side, or you might want to do one cycle of breath from side to side. And then meet, bringing the knees in, hugging your knees into your chest. Gently rock from side to side, but find yourself with one leg long, then the other. Reach both arms up overhead, reach fingers away from the toes, and then maintain this integrity as you exhale. Reach right fingertips away from the right toes, nice length on the right side of the body, exhale. Release and then reach left fingertips away from the left toes. Maintain the integrity as you exhale. Inhale, reach fingertips away from the toes. And then as you exhale, bring the arms down to the side. Wave the feet from side to side, but allow them to splay open. Close the eyes and bring the focus back to the nose. Take a nice full inhale in through the nose. And then slowly exhale. Inhale for a count of four. Hold the breath. And then exhale. Inhale for a count of four. Hold the breath. Exhale. Allow the breath to fall into your natural rhythm. This is your Shavasana and I will call you back. All right, take a nice full inhale here. Find your way onto your right side as you exhale. Bring yourself up to a seated position on your next inhale. And then anchor in as you exhale. Bring the palms together in prayer, thumbs touching the sternum with a soft bow, ending your practice here with a few deep cycles of breath. I honor this place inside of me in which the entire universe dwells. It is a place of peace. It is a place of kindness. And it is a place of love. And when I am in this place in me and you are in this place in you, together we are one. Thank you. Okay.